Hi, I'm Karel Norden. I'm uh, originally from Germany and I'm here at the Institut Gulbenkian in a double role. On the one hand, I lead the research group on cell biology of morphogenesis. On the other hand, I'm also the deputy director of science. And uh, when both of these things uh, I'm done with and I go home, I like running and uh, I cycle a lot on the weekend with people from IGC, but also with other people. And uh, if I even have more time, I also like to go kayaking here in front of the marina in Pascho de Arcos and Doera. In my lab, we study the big questions how cells form tissue in the broadest sense. I moved into a system where cells together to form a brain, which was the zebrafish. And what we want to understand is the zebrafish. So uh, in the zebrafish is uh, how cells form tissue. And the model we use for this is the eye. Because the eye is at the outside, of the organism, it's very easy for us to image, it's very easy for us to uh, manipulate. And within this small area at the outside of the embryo, you can study questions of shape. So how does an organ get its right shape, get into its right shape? This is a process called morphogenesis. You can ask, how does growth occur? How does it happen that both eyes always grow, grow in the same dimension, that you have two eyes of the same size in the end? And then we also study questions of patterning because of course the eye is a part of the central nervous system so it's part of our brain we see with the eye so we need neurons for that and we want to understand how the different neurons that make up the eye and the perceiving part of the eye which is the retina how these different neurons get arranged in the right layer so that we can see our environment and that the right information is transmitted to the rest of the brain. I was at the conference in 2016 at the Gulbenkian Foundation where I met many scientists from the IGC. I was exposed to the breadth of science at the IGC. And uh, more importantly, I also met Monica bettencourt uh, the first time we knew each other, but we never really talked. And then when she became a director in 2018, uh, Tony Hyman, which is here on the advisory board and was a director at my former institute in Dresden, he came to me one day and he said, uh, at the IGC, Monica bettencourt uh, is looking for a deputy director of science. And I immediately said, yeah, sign me up, I want that job. So I think co-leading an institute, trying to shape an institute, and uh, also at the same time leading an ambitious lab and uh, an ambitious uh, research environment is challenging independent of gender. Uh, I think it's uh, as challenging as a, for a man as it would be for a woman. After people saw me work and after people saw that I take this very, very seriously, my research and the institute, I think my gender didn't play a role at all ever again, if it did even in the beginning.